Hi guys. Um, as I'm sitting here, I'm kind of wondering if this is the best light to do this in. Uh, but I'm kind of trying to do this look. Kind of like a pink smoky eye. You can't see it great. But we'll see how we go. I'll tell you the colours and the techniques and we can do what we can do. Uh, and I'll uh, I'll maybe learn from uh, from this, which may be a mistake. I tried to do this earlier on, but my camera's been playing up, so let's see how we go. Uh, this is the palette that I'm going to be using today. It is an Estee Lauder palette, and the colours I'll be using are Ivory Box, uh, Candy Cube, Berry Ice, and Ink Spot. I'm going to use a real tiny bit of the Ink Spot, because it's more of a pink... Um, smoky eyes because it's not so great dark 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 colors we need a little bit of something we're also going to be using bad gal but only tiny 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 bit you'll see okay first of all i have put a primer on my eyelid and i'm going to put an overall pink which is the candy candy cube i'm going to put that all over my eyelid and kind of up over the socket a little bit. You can hear the door running out the stairs. I'll just be a second. Go back outside, I'll just be a second. Okay. okay. Now the white, which is ivory box, I'll just put that on my brow bone just to highlight and also on the inside corner on the inside corner just to widen my eyes a little bit okay. right now this is like a quite a big fluffy brush it's not quite like a blending brush but as a powder brush I am um, I do use an old lipstick brush that I never used for a lipstick brush um, but I use a tiny, tiny, tiny one because it's quite good for like the eye socket and things. So I'll put the darker red with berry, with berry eyes, in the eye socket with this brush. It's like a lipstick brush, like a face, but I think it's great for the crease. to get right in there. Okay. Now go back to the fluffier one and put plenty of the berry ice on about half of the eyelid and stretch it out. Make a little bit of a mess underneath my eye. Uh, stretch it out past the eyelid. Okay. Up the brow on a little bit. Okay, great. Right now, the most important part. This was supposed to be a lipstick brush, um, but I've never used it as a lipstick brush. I use it as kind of like an eyeliner brush. It was a benefit um, brush that I got. I use Bad gal. Obviously, it's quite a chunky pencil. Um, when I use this, generally, I'll put it on and then I like blend it in with this. But because it's just kind of a fine look that I'm looking for, I'm gonna get the pencil because it's real waxy directly onto the brush. Almost kind of lipsticky, the bad gal. And get some of it. Like that. And I'm gonna line the bottom of my eyes like that. I'm also going to put a little bit of the berry eyes underneath just to really make them pop and that's when the what was this one called? ink spot 
that's when the the blue one I'll put in the corners just kind of like as an extra liner because it's dark now my favorite mascara of the moment are these two the primer and mascara <laughs> Primer makes a huge difference to what the lashes look uh, look like. I mean, I've not got very long lashes myself, but this makes such a big difference. I can't tell you when you put all over. Let's try and dry them a little bit. Let it set. A little bit on top. I don't put myself in the eye trying to use this web cam when it's a time delay. Okay. And we're all done. At least this one's better. But. I hope you could see with the light. And I might do another one later.